two. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Rob Booker. Welcome to our FX Trading 101 lessons. We're talking about MetaTrader. And in this lesson, I want to give you a brief tour of MetaTrader 4. MetaTrader 4, used by zillions of traders all across the world, is the primary trading and charting platform, as you know, for currency trading. Now, this is the platform. It's a Windows-based computer program. And across the top, you're going to see, as you do in all programs, a file menu with links. You're going to see a toolbar next below. You're going to see the charting area in the middle here. And then you're going to see along the bottom of the chart the names of the currency pairs or financial instruments that you can chart. Then each one of these are separate. Okay. So that's the, the, that's the basic overview of what the window looks like. But as you can see, there's a lot, as you can imagine, there's a lot more stuff that you can put on the screen. So if you click on view to start with, if you click on the word view at the upper left-hand part of the screen, you're going to see languages, which we don't care about, toolbars. Now you can take off some of these toolbars here and get your chart even larger if you want. We're not going to play around with that at all. There's a status bar. That's probably something I've never even looked at in my entire life. And I don't even really care what the status bar is, but it looks like it's this, these words right up here in the upper left-hand corner of the chart. Uh, charts bar, symbols, market watch, and so forth. Let's just click on symbols. What do symbols do? Oh, it pops up a list of all of the symbols available inside of our installation of MetaTrader with our FX dealer. We click on view again and click market watch. This is going to pull up a list of the financial instruments available. And if I hold down the bar in between the chart and the market watch, I can make that larger. Now this is a giant list of currency pairs and other financial instruments that are tradable on this version of MetaTrader with this FX dealer. Now when you pop this up, you may only find that there are like 10 financial instruments here. And what you want to do is you want to right click on this box and you want to choose show all. One of the items on this menu right here will be show all. And you want to click show all. And that will show every single financial instrument that is available inside the platform with your FX dealer. The next thing we want to do is click view again and choose data window. I never use the data window, ever. I don't really ever care about it. It doesn't matter to me. It's not important. And it's going to show you the, the date, which you should already know unless you're living under a rock, the time, which you should also know if you own a watch or a smartphone, the open price, the high price, the, and of, of everything else on this chart. It's just giving you some basic data about the open chart. I don't care about this, and I never open that window. Next, you're going to go to View, and you're going to click on Navigator. Now, this is a very important box. I'm going to exit out of the Market Watch, and I'm going to focus on the Navigator. Now, the Navigator is a place where you can sort of, I don't know, the, the name implies, but I'm going to try to expand this and bring this out if I can. There we go. Bring this out a little bit more. The navigator is, well, I'm going to walk through each of these areas one by one. Um, it shows your, your counts under that drop down box. And then it shows you your indicators. It shows all the indicators available inside of your MetaTrader installation. That's going to become really important later on as we play around with indicators and loading indicators into MetaTrader. The next one is going to be expert advisors. Now, an expert advisor is a robot, or it's an automated program that helps do things more efficiently inside of MetaTrader. And then there are scripts. Scripts are simple things that you can run, simple batches of code that you can run to send alerts, close all your trades, close some of your trades, stack orders, lots of other things. We don't use scripts very often, but when we do, they are critically important. All right, that's your navigator window that helps you see all the different trading accounts that you have, indicators that you have, robots and scripts that you have. Now, you might be wondering, where are, where's the window that shows us what trades are open? It's missing off of the chart here. If we click on View and Terminal, that pulls up a window on the bottom of our screen where we can see all of our open trades. Now I'm going to, once again, I'm going to try to click and hold and drag this window up. It may take me a moment to do that. This is the window that's going to show us all of our open trades, everything that we've got open. And I'm going to open like 50 different things at the same time. 
And there we go. I'm going to drag this up really high. These are all of our current open trades. It's going to show us, for example, under here, we can click on trade, and that's where we're going to see all of our open and pending trades. It's going to show us our order number, the time that the order was opened, the type of order, whether it was a buy or a sell, the size of the trade or the volume, that's 1.0, so that's a standard, uh, the symbol that we traded, the price that we entered at, the stop loss and the take profit, the price that it is right now, the commission that we paid, the interest payments that we're paying in order to hold on to those trades, which we'll get around to. You know, I realize now we probably need to add a lesson, which you probably have already watched since we've already added it, um, about swap and interest. Now this is, these are your open trades, and if you have any pending trades that are about to open, they will be displayed down here underneath the open trades. That's our terminal window. We're not going to deal with trades or we're not going to change anything around here right now. We're not going to practice opening a trade or anything. I just want to navigate through the bottom uh, right here. So there's some other words. There's exposure. I never use this panel. This shows you if you are heavily weighted or um, trading a lot of one type of currency or financial instrument. Your account history area is where all the trades you've ever taken are listed. You can right click on this area and choose all history, last three months, and so forth. You can also choose save as report. And you can save an HTM file to your computer that shows you a report of all the trades that you've taken. It's pretty useful. Uh, you can click on news and you can see the, the latest news uh, about the currency market. I don't really ever use that. You can choose alerts, never use this at all. Mailbox, never check my mail from my FX dealer inside of MetaTrader. Market, don't even know what that is and don't care. Signals, this is an area where you can subscribe to signals from other traders. Some of them cost money and some of them are free. Since you can't know who these people are and there's no way to verify their performance, um, and there's no way to really tell what they're doing. I wouldn't ever recommend going to this tab and doing anything about it. Code base, don't know what that is and don't care. Experts, this is the area that shows you where your expert advisors or robots or indicators uh, were executing codes. And then your journal. Last of all is your journal. And this is a really important area that shows you everything that's been going on inside of your trading account. If you've loaded a robot, but it doesn't seem to be taking any trades, there will be a message right here about why. If there's an error with your MetaTrader login, you'll find it right here. You might also find in the bottom right-hand section of your screen a little thing that looks like the bars or the signal strength from your uh, mobile phone provider. If you double-click that or if you click that once or whatever, you can actually see all the servers that are available with your FX dealer. You can actually log into your trading account by clicking a button right there and so forth. If it says no connection, that means your internet connection is out or you're not logged in or MetaTrader is having some problems. That's the terminal window and I'm going to close that out right now and then I'm going to click view again. Next is the strategy tester. Now the strategy tester, once again, this may take a moment for us to pull this up and, and expand this upward. It always takes a moment because I'm going to use my finger here. The strategy tester is where you back test robots. This is a whole window where you can choose the robot you want to test, the currency pair that you want to test the robot on, the date range that you want to test it. You can choose to change all of the settings dealing with the robot so that you can uh, blah, blah, blah. We'll have a whole set of lessons on how to back test a robot and how to use this strategy tester window. But as of right now, that's not really super important. All right, that's part one on all the different windows that you can open inside of MetaTrader. When we come back, I want to navigate through this upper bar right here and teach you what all of these things mean at the top of the MetaTrader platform. We'll be right back. Oh, wait, I got to give you a message from our sponsor. Did we do it? Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we, we're still good. All right. I wanted to make sure we left a message for our sponsor. These videos are sponsored by Forest Park FX. If you're interested in opening a uh, currency trading account, talk to Forest Park FX to open an account and get cash back rebates on every trade you place. Go to forestparkfx.com. Terms and conditions will apply. Forex trading carries a substantial risk of loss. Thanks for being here. We will now see you in the very next video.